planner friends it's Nia welcome to life with Nia today I am closing out my September budget oh my goodness September was just madness I don't know if it's bad I don't think it's good it's just it is what it is I guess so um, I'm gonna go over the goals income expenses cash envelopes savings challenges and uh, let's see where we ended up um, I like killed it with goals in August and I like killed it in a bad way <laughs> with goals in September so um, the not using a credit card I did not meet that goal use a credit card for business expenses I've just about paid it completely off I think there's like a hundred dollars left um, but I needed things for the planner sesh box and so um, we used a credit card did a really good job tracking expenses um, had a goal to save 350 hit that um, had a goal of Etsy sales of 2500 did not hit that I believe Etsy sales were 19 Let's see, 19 I don't know where I put it at. Um, it's August. 1908. So um, about 600 short there. Goal to pay off 1300 in debt. I paid off 991. So um, we were about 300 short there and then paying off the Ulta card I did not do that and in part I kind of changed my mind on that because it's one of those things where I think if they if I pay it off they're going to close the card and I don't want them to close the card so I'm trying to just keep a low balance on it instead um, but I do want to pay it down some more so that is where we're at for the goals for this month, I um, expected to bring in income of $66.85.75. I ended up with $67.17 and 19 cents. So I brought in $31.44 more than um, I estimated. PD says hi. Um, Etsy income was $14.15. So sales were $19.08. Income was $14.15. And those don't exactly align because uh, part of that was, for example, the payment on the 7th was from August. So um, it doesn't exactly line up, but that was the amount that was deposited to my account. I um, received $137 from YouTube. Google AdSense is actually what it is. Um, that was for July and August. So you have to meet a minimum of a hundred dollar threshold to get a payment. And so I didn't meet it in July. I had $58 in July and 78 in August. So, um, in September I received a payment of 137. So 67, 17 was our income this month. I messed up this page and did not put expenses here. So let's set this aside and go through some expenses in the budget mom budget by paycheck workbook. Um, so for expenses, um, home and utilities were, um, just what I estimated it to be, um, which is 1700 and 150. Um, I pay utilities every other month. So I set, I typically set aside 150 the first month and then whatever the rest of it do is the next month. So, um, it was like, I think 192 for October. Um, SMUD is my electricity. It was 150. PG&E, um, I estimated 20, which is gas. It was zero. My gas bill has been pretty low all summer. Um, paid car payment, 523.31. Car insurance, home insurance, 164.21. Um, on credit cards, I've been trying to do like a little bit extra. So for my, um, paying off my Mac computer, um, it was $79.39 due. I paid $90. Kohl's, I just paid what was due, which was $70. Um, 
let's see, I'm going to skip a few things. Um, my Navy Federal credit card, 134 was due. I paid 184. Um, so I was trying to put a little bit extra towards everything to hit that goal of 1200 on paying down the debt. Um, and I probably would have done better had it not been for the business expenses being such a large amount this month. Um, all the utilities were the same. Subscription boxes were the same. Cloth and papers, 48. So Simply Gilded's 48.50. And I had 670 that I pulled out for cash envelopes this month. One major change I made was Instant Ink. I had been paying 26.93. It just, I, I just, it wasn't going to cut it. I had to increase my plan. So I'm at the highest plan now, which is $53.86. Um, I was like printing like crazy for the planner sesh box stickers and um, just, you know, filling orders and whatnot. I was really sort of hitting my limit of pages anyway. Um, I'd like to say that there's no way I will ever go over with this plan, but um, it could happen. So, but, but it's the highest one that they have. So I don't know what I'll do if I go over on this one. Um, it'd be very pricey. So, um, that just about doubled from $26.93 to $53.86. Um, Microsoft was $6.99. PayPal is a credit card. That was $58. Um, QuickBooks, $17. Um, Lightroom is usually $10. I put a pause on it because I can't get these, um, what do you call them, presets to download. And so... I don't want to pay for it if I can't get it to work. So it's it's on pause for two months while I troubleshoot when I have some spare time. Like, I'm going to find that. Then I had two loan payments, $63.36 and $28.27. Credit card for $25 and Amazon Prime for $14. So, <coughs> I still did not do anything as it relates to the dryer, the tires, or the laptop. Those are still on my list of to-dos. <clears throat> Let's look at, <coughs> all of a sudden I'm coughing. Um, I think I shared, if I didn't say it, the business expenses ended up being $1,031.40 <coughs> in September, which is 16% of my income. Debt was 34% of my income. So even though I only paid now $991, I made $2,306.00 towards debt payments. And part of that is still afterpay. 847 was afterpay. Y'all, I'm just like slowly getting out of this afterpay hole. Um and I like I think I'm at the point where I can't wait to really get out of it and leave it alone. But afterpay has a hold on me. But that's a whole nother that's a whole that's a whole nother video. Um but eleven thirty one was business related things and a lot of it was planner sesh box. I didn't sell the amount. I doubled the amount of boxes from the first box. Didn't sell the amount of boxes I expected to sell. Um, and so I got a whole lot of boxes and a whole lot of expenses because I've got to put that money up up front to be able to fulfill the boxes. So I'm looking at the holiday box now, which I want to have ready to go in about a month. And I'm trying to figure out... Um, what the number of boxes is going to be and, um, you know, how much is it going to cost me? Like the items that I want to put in there are a little bit on the pricier side for the holiday, holiday box. Um, I hadn't had any plans to change the dollar amount for the box, um, the, the price of the box, but, um, I don't know. Places have like minimum order qu order quantities and um, it's the whole thing. I'm just trying to figure out how to bring the vision together. So that is uh, what I'm working on for October and um, trying to, you know, bring the business expenses back down. It is what it is. So for, um, let's do, before we do savings, let's do cash envelopes. So in my cash envelopes, there is a little bit of money left over. Um, and I have switched out of this. This is like my little $10 Amazon job. I have like three of these in different colors and I love it. Um, into the Notique Slim wallet. 
and so that's what I'm using for um, October and um, we have some five dollar bills left my five dollar bills go towards savings so we're gonna pull these out there were three of them so that is fifteen dollars that you will see reflected in my travel slash vacation fund that is going to go towards that and then I had some money, which is very rare, left over. So I had $30 left over in gas. That's not so much of a rarity. Um, I've already rolled that over because I've done my cash envelope stuffing video for October. So that got rolled over into October already. Um, and then I've got this money left. So I have a dollar for household. And if you can believe it, I have, let's see, there's nothing in groceries. I actually went over on groceries. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight dollars left in eating out. I did not spend all my eating out money. So, nine dollars. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, I have nine dollars. And I'm trying to decide where I want to put it. Um, I'm going to think about it. Maybe I'll have an idea by the end of this video. Um, so then, just making myself a note. Then I had savings. So. I do the 52 week savings challenge for that I saved $90 and then I did the budget mom savings challenge called what you're wearing Wednesday and so um, it's based on the color top and bottom and so th for this I did $96 there were actually three Wednesdays in the month of September but I only did four of them so I saved $96 for the budget mom savings challenge and $90 for the 52 week challenge um, I also saved $15 this is this $15 for vacation and travel um, I deposited change into my savings account for Christmas that was $10.47 um, I put $50 in my emergency fund $25 in my car maintenance fund. Um, I say maintenance, but it's anything car related because um, that could include like my registration, stuff like that. Um, car wash, those types of things. I, which I haven't been to the car wash in probably three months and my car looks like it, side note. Anyway, I saved um, $20 to my health, $40 to butcher and this may, I don't know why, I know I spent 20 and I don't have it on here. Let me make a little note to myself because I know I have 127 because I counted it, but I know I spent 20. Um, I may have taken it, taken it out of grocery though. Okay, anyway, I put 20 into um, Petey's little fund, but then I spent 20. This is the 52 week savings. Um business I had $162 I spent all of it which is is good that I had it because it helped in not putting that whole 1131 on a credit card and let me just be clear I did not spend I did not put 1131 on a credit card I didn't even I it's I put maybe 400 on a credit card so a lot of it was cash flowed on the 1131 in business expenses but um yeah, we ended with zero for our business fund. Um, I put 10 in fun, 10 in beauty, 10 in clothing, $5 in the Sam's Club membership, and I am done contributing to that. It's not due until January, but there is enough to cover the membership when it comes due. 15 in my P.O. Box fund, 50 in my Black Friday fund, and I did not save anything towards the laptop because the business expense the business expenses were just killing me last month. So that is where we're at on that. 
um, debt. So we started the month with $36,024.03. If you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that that is not my total debt. That is the debt we're focusing on this year. My total debt is like a quarter of a million because of student loans. Um, you heard me correctly, 250. I don't know what the actual number is because I haven't looked at it in a while because of the um, deferment, but... That starts back up. Mine will probably start back up in February because of the loans become due again in January 30th. And I was reading something that made me very um, hopeful at uh, yesterday about them going back and counting payments if you consolidated and that were not previously counted and whatnot. So I'm like, ooh. Let me check this out. But I'm also concerned because Fed loan is going to stop servicing. And so I can see them losing and messing up a whole bunch of stuff too. So there's that. Um, but I'm not worried about that until next year. Which I want to get some of this other stuff paid down so that it frees up money that is going to have to go towards that. Also, I'm going to talk about this in my October budget setup. My rent is going up $125 a month, which not complaining. I'm not happy about it, but I'm not complaining because I know I pay far less than the market value in California for a three bedroom home. So I pay 17. It's going to 18.25. So I, it's like, really, you waited like 30 seconds after this eviction moratorium ended to <laughs> raise my rent. But at the same time, I still pay far less than what the going market rate is. So there is that. Um, so anyway, we started the month with 36,024. We end the month with 35,032 and 38 cents. So a reduction of 991.65. And that is, um, primarily car credit card debt, some loans, and then there's, um, after pay. So that is that. Um, last but not least, um, no, that's like everything. That's everything. The only thing, um, is where I'm going to put this $9 at. Let me see. Where do you think I should put the $9? Give me, give me your opinion. Post below where that $9 should go. And you're probably thinking it's $9 and not that big a deal. And you just put it somewhere. But nine my little $10 in change. I've been just depositing change this year since. Mm, it's It was before January that I started. But I've been just depositing change. Actually, let's look. January, my Christmas fund had... $32.26 in January. I've just been depositing change and I had a couple of little clash action lawsuit checks, but they're like $2. They, there wasn't anything consequential. Um, so, you know, depositing change can add up. I'm at $170 in my Christmas fund in nine months from change. So, um, $9 can make a difference. Where do you think I should put it? Emergency, car maintenance, vacation, taxes, health. I'm not putting it in taxes. Don't don't vote for that. Health, bulk shopping, um, pet, PD's envelope, business, Christmas, fun, beauty, clothing. Let me know what you think. And um, the most... Category, the, the category that has the most comments below um, is where I will stick it at. So for now, I'll just set it aside. But comment below. Appreciate it. Your input. Um, and if you have any questions or comments about my budget, um, suggestions, I'm always open to feedback. Would love to hear them. Um, that is it for this video. So I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.